Mr Deputy Speaker, I intend, only intend to speak briefly, but I'd like to reflect a lot of the wisdom of my uh, uh, honourable and learned friend, the member of Bromley and Chislehurst, I think has brought to bear, and not only in this bill, but in other bills like the counter-terror bill we had the other day as well. Um, uh, I speak in, as a supporter of marriage, but also as a supporter of this bill. I think wherever possible, divorce needs to be amicable, and we need to remove blame as a necessity. Early, at earlier stages of legislation, we heard some honourable members, including from my recent intake, speak personally of the pain that they were going through at the moment with blame levelled in divorce. And I disagree with the honourable member for, uh, for Gainsborough on this. I think this bill does help remove some of that pain by removing some of the blame. And I think that's an important thing we, need to, uh, we, need to, we are doing today in removing that. Um, so I'd just like to conclude by saying I support the bill. I'm glad the government's brought it forwards. Uh, as somebody with two uh, grandparents who've married 66 years and parents rapidly approaching their 40th wedding anniversary, I hope they continue in that, but also that for others who aren't in this lucky situation, that this will help remove some of the burden on them. Yeah, yeah.